And welcome back to Be Terrific and our continuing live coverage from CE Week 2016 as we are in our final hour. It has been an incredible, incredible two days here in New York City, live at the Metropolitan Pavilion. And I have Brayden here from Robo3D. First of all, welcome to the booth. Thanks a lot. I appreciate Any it. Any man with a 3D printed bow tie is welcome <laughs> in our booth. And, you know, this is the second uh, interview we've done with uh, 3D printing technology. Yeah. Very different, though, than what we saw earlier today. I mean, this stuff is very detailed, very high quality stuff. Um, and I think what's interesting about 3D printing is 3D printing over the last 10 years, it almost seemed like early model 3D printing was just proof of concept. Yeah, no question. Just to yeah. show you like, oh, we can do this. Mm -hmm. We could make the Eiffel Tower yep. in a yep. 3D print. Whereas I look at some of this stuff on the table and this is usable functional stuff. I mean, you know, the Hulk here, this is, this is a, a toy. This is a legitimate, yeah. it's very dense. Um, you don't have to worry that your, your kid's gonna rip the head off in yeah, like yeah. five seconds. Uh, probably the most impressive thing from a material standpoint on this table is this wheel, which our viewers, uh, there we go, get a nice view of it. This tire is pressing in. It's depressing. It's yeah, made it's of made rubber, with the rubber material. material, yeah. Um, now, I, I mean, would you have to refill this in, with air? Or how would that work? No, this one right here is just, it's like a prototype of an actual wheel, but you can actually make it more solid inside the wheel, so you actually don't need air. It will compress just as a normal wheel just because of the infill that's inside of it. I mean, so. that, that's incredible. And, yeah. and something like this, I mean, maybe this is proof of concept too, yeah, but at yeah. least this is proof of concept yeah. that we're heading to a place where uh, commercially available or I guess the home user can yeah. actually start printing stuff that can be used in the practical world. Of course, you know, in, in medicine now, they're, you know, mm -hmm. bionic arms yeah, or whatever yeah. that they're 3D printing. So we're really heading in that direction. This is a gorgeous sculpture. Um, Wee! Yeah. yeah, three, I mean, three years ago when we even started the company, you would have had to have design experience to build something. Now there's just these marketplaces online where users can have access to over a million files right. that already exist. So you can just find stuff, download it, and print it now. So which, is, which is incredible. But now let's move on to where uh, you guys seem to excel yeah. here. You guys are making kits, 3D, yeah. 3D mm -hmm. printed kits, so that users can print stuff on their own yep. uh, and really get the full experience. Because let me tell you something. If I went to B&H across town yeah. over there and bought a 3D printer and took it home, I don't think... I'd be able to print a drone. Yep, yep. But what do we have here? Yeah, <laughs> so when we got into the business, we were mainly a hardware manufacturer, so we built 3D printers. We started to realize that just giving a 3D printer to someone and having them try to figure out what to do with it wasn't the proper approach. So we started designing content that they can make. So one of the things here is uh, it's a 3D printed kit that we we're starting to sell. Um, of a drone here. So it actually comes with all the hardware inside of the box. And then we come and we design all these different body styles for the drone that you can actually print with your 3D printer. So it involves it in the 3D printing in the process, but also gives you the ability to do a DIY kit, that's something that's functional, that works. And we're building a whole line of these kits. So we have an arcade kit that we're building over here. Yeah, we have to look at this uh, arcade. Let's get, a, let's get a shot of that. Can we uh, pull that up, the arcade there? Um, Hang tight as we adjust. There it is. That is, uh, that is not something that was bought in a store. That's something that you printed. Yeah, yeah. So we printed the entire exterior for it. Inside, what will come in the box will actually be the screen and the Raspberry Pi, so you can kind of put it together. And then you go online, you can download a bunch of different games for it. So we'll Does have a whole line of kits. Are there now. games on there right now? There is games on there right now. A lot of the nostalgic games. Really? Super Nintendo games, PlayStation games. So. We might have to pass that over and yeah, I might have yeah. to get involved in that. <laughs> I mean, what's something like this? First of all, let's talk about your printers. Yeah. You know, if I want to get involved in this, what is it going to cost me to get up and running? Yeah, so we have a new line of products coming out in September. Um, it's our R2 series right now. We have the R1 series. The R2 series will start at $599, so very accessible price point. Tons of great features in it. I mean, you're going to be able to use your smartphone to print from, so we have Wi-Fi. Um, all the way up to we're going to have a machine that's at $999 and one that's at $1499. What's so. the difference going to be between $599 and $1499? Uh, different, different build sizes for the different prices. The additional ones have additional features. Some of them... Um, if you go two scales up, they have two heads, so you can do two different materials or two different colors at the same time. So, yeah, we'll have different features for so each So to do one. something like that, I'm going to need the biggest model, probably. This is actually done in multiple pieces, so you can actually use the smaller model to print each individual component. 
Um, and then the retail price on the entire thing in a box that you buy is probably going to be something around two hundred dollars. So, so that I can make that for just two hundred dollars. Two hundred bucks. Yep. Wow. And, yeah. and talk about the fact that there's some level of ownership. Yeah. To making you know, yes, I, I can go out and buy a drone. Yep. Something small. We actually just had uh, the guys from Odyssey. Doing drones. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I can go buy a drone, but. Yeah. You know, what is it about the satisfaction of, of making something? Yeah, it's, I mean, DIY has been around forever, and we've kind of lost it in retail, and I think it's starting to come back with, like, the project-based learning in schools and things like that. So this gives people, an, uh, you know, an opportunity to customize. They can design whatever color they want. They can make a unique product that doesn't exist on the shelves. And I think that's really important, and kind of we're all about showing who we are, whether it's what iPhone case we have, whatever it may be. This gives you an opportunity to show kind of a little bit more about your personality um, while you're building a product. And, and it's satisfactory. You know. I, I agree with that. And where's, where's Robo3D heading? What's sort of the future for you guys? We're building great products, smart products. That's something we're really getting into. We have some cool features coming out in our iPhone app. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of connectivity with the machine and the person using it, using devices that we already have in our hand, our smartphones. Um, we're developing a ton of content and use cases for people. We also have, on top of this, we have these 3D print packs that we sell in retail. They're just a thumb drive that has 20 files on it, all themed towards like household items or whatever it may be. So it gives people the opportunity when they buy a product to then have reasons or things to actually print right when they uh, purchased it. So. That's, I mean, that's incredible. Now, so you have a whole new line of products coming out yeah. basically at the end of the summer in September. Yeah. Um, where do I get more information? How do I order this stuff? How do I get my hands on it? Yeah, we are selling right now in select stores and Best Buy and Staples and also on our website at Robo3D.com. Robo3D.com. So, yeah, yeah. Raiden, man, thanks for coming on. This stuff, is, this stuff is really cool. It just goes to show you where 3D printing is, where it's heading. You know, it's not just printing little wiry sculptures anymore that fall apart. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more live from CE Week here in New York City at the Metropolitan Pavilion as we roll on in our final hour of our two-day coverage here. We'll be right back. It would be terrific.